Simple, unique structures have helped owners replace their nine to five jobs by generating hundreds of thousands of dollars for a very low upfront investment. Now, some owners have even became millionaires from their unique rental portfolio. But the key question today is, which structures actually make the most money on Airbnb? And to answer that, we need to dive into the ever-changing algorithm and use the numbers and data available to us to analyze and rank these five highly sought after unique spaces. First up is the ever popular A-frame home. Second, the cutie patootie tiny home. Third, the little kid in all of us treehouse. And fourth, the I want to live in the future space colony dome home. And then last but not least, I want to be different from everyone else and I don't care what they think, crazy uniques. Stick around to the end because after hours of learning about the new algorithm, I found ways to optimize and make even more money with real estate and Airbnb. All right, so with the recent shift in the Airbnb algorithm and the changes to the website, we'll have to do research a bit differently than what I'm used to doing before. This is going to be some intense analysis. So I channeled my old business professor who taught me how to extract numbers, use multiple sources, and build an accurate story from data. Use the force, loop, let go. Internet algorithms may be our overlords, but if you're sneaky enough, you can still use them to your advantage. And it's pretty darn clear that Airbnb favors unique spaces with its new categories and thumbnails on the homepage. So I dove right in searching by the categories we set out from the beginning, and I painstakingly used everything Airbnb had to offer, as well as my other sites to cross-reference markets and listing data to calculate the estimated annual income of each of of the top eight listings from each category recommended by the Airbnb algorithm. Oh, look, Rob's place. Nice, well done, bro. You made it on the main page. Ooh, yeah, I'll need to talk to you about that. But congrats making it on the first page. That's actually a really big deal. And after hours of analyzing dry eyes and repetitive finger movements, I got this. I know this is a lot to look at. So if you want to check out my research, you can download this spreadsheet that you see here for free. Link just down in the description. I also have another download link in there if you want to download my rental analysis tool of how I run numbers when looking to acquire or invest in new properties. Totally free if you want to see more of a quote unquote business approach to investing in real estate. Now, this is the top 40 Airbnb rentals pushed by the new algorithm with all of their data that I could pull. And from that, I was able to find the average estimated annual revenue by each category, giving us this ranking. Ranging from about $82,000 a year all the way up to $110,000 a year on average. So that's it. Super uniques are the winner. Let's all go out and start building some spaceships and potato homes. Not so fast. I realized something as I was going through the data and analyzing it. It's not fair looking at just how much each structure makes because the Airbnb algorithm was pushing listings of different sizes, location, and bedrooms. Not much we can do on the location since I was just searching the general US and Canadian markets and it allowed Airbnb to just push whatever it wanted to me. But instead, I broke it down one more layer to per bedroom revenue and got this, ranging from $50,000 to $75,000 per bedroom, where everything is relatively in the same ballpark in the 70s, but a massive drop off in the per bedroom revenue when it comes to A-frames. But this doesn't actually take into account profitability, which is the goal of this whole video. Each type of structure requires different build costs, investments, and maintenance. So back to the researching, figuring out build costs and calculations. And this is the final ranking based on which is the most profitable, taking into account cash flows and equity. Structures should not be based off of just cash flows, but also how much equity can be generated, gained, and or accumulated over the years as well. So here are my final rankings side by side. Notice how when just looking at revenues, the crazy uniques look like it should be or is at number one, even with Airbnb pushing its big OMG campaign. However, under profitability, I have crazy uniques at a far distant last place. Real estate investing is more than just revenues. There are more variables and other variables you have to factor in, like cash out refinancing, tax advantages, and the ability to be appraised. A property or structure that isn't able to do most 
most, if not all of these, is kind of worthless to me. Sure, cash flow is great, but there's a lot of other strategies that come into play when you start dealing and investing in real estate, especially unique rentals. When you have the choice, choose permits and equity. And if you've been wanting to get into investing in real estate, specifically acreage, short-term rentals, and unique spaces, you may actually be a good fit to join our Land Hacker community where we have hundreds of members doing just this on a little bit of a different scale. Now, I personally love building out containers and dome homes along with just traditional real estate. We have folks doing all types of projects all across the world. And in our Land Hacker program, we have live classes, coaching, Q&A sessions with me, and you get to surround yourself with successful and like-minded entrepreneurs and investors who are actually actively replacing their nine to five jobs with real estate income, like one of our Rockstar members, Grant. If that sounds like a place you wanna be, click the link down below in the description to schedule a free call with me or someone on my team to see how we can help you start finding the right property to create multiple income streams from, like using unique rentals. Now we know what the algorithm favors and what people are choosing to pay top dollar for. A couple of key insights if you're investing in STRs, short-term rentals, or growing your portfolio with unique stays. First, the average listing in the top 40 never dropped below a 4.9 star rating. Aside from a handful of outliers, these are highly rated spaces. I've always pushed my members to keep their listings above a 4.9 well before this new algorithm came in. It's now crystal clear that's what Airbnb and our overlord really wants. Second, the pricing was in a very specific range. It was typically somewhere between $300 to $400 a night. There was a few listings out there that were using third-party pricing apps that shot their price range all over the place, like literally jumping all around. But three, four hundred range makes sense because it appeals to the most people and it gives us insight on what the general guest is willing to pay or spend on the Airbnb platform. Third, there were only two plus listings and zero Lux listings in the top 40. My personal plus listing used to get double to triple the views and bookings of all my other places, but it doesn't look like it's as important to Airbnb anymore. Not a lot of marketing dollars going behind that anymore. Fourth, third-party pricing software is getting much more prevalent, and it's very obvious who's using it and who isn't. A lot of these third-party pricing apps say it'll get you more bookings, revenue by comparing seasonality, comps, and other factors. But honestly, as I was going through this as a customer, I found it really confusing to see the listing advertising one price. And then when I selected a date or shifted them around a little bit, it would jump two to three or even four times the price. I'd be much more keen to go book a listing with a more stable pricing structure or model. And that's a lot less expensive. It's a personal preference though. And then fifth, lastly, these all have professional level photo. It's, it's not about just avoiding grainy pictures, which we all should, but it's about how the space is staged, the small details of how pillows are fluffed and towels are folded, alongside having the right lighting and editing. This is critical to anything online. Why do you think us YouTubers spend so much time and money on our thumbnails? Airbnb or any other platform is no different, except you're now trying to get that person to become a guest by whipping out a credit card and then paying you money. But if you thought that ranking unique structures and dissecting the new Airbnb Airbnb algorithm can make you money, you gotta see what's happening in the Airbnb space that's going to make some people very rich and then take away others short-term rental businesses in this video right here. And if you want to work closer with me and our Land Hacker community and program, set up a time and let's chat some more. Live classes are starting soon. Love you all, like and subscribe, bye.